hey youtube welcome back to my channel so this video is a tutorial on my updated foundation routine um i've gotten really good at it so i do the steps pretty fast but i'm going to talk you guys through my products and um, make sure you guys get a great understanding of how i do everything um it's pretty simple and i hope you enjoy it so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to thumbs up this video and thank you so much for watching here we go okay to get started i'm just going to moisturize my face and i'm going to use the moisture surge clinique moisturizer and it is a sample that i've been using and i really like it so i'm just going to moisturize my entire face all over and make sure that i get it deep into my skin Next, I am going to use the Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline, and I like this primer so far. I do have small, um, small sections of big pores that I have, so I haven't found the right one. I heard that the Porefessional uh, Primer is good, so I might try that, but so far this is what I'm using, and I only use it in my T-zone areas and where I get the most oiliest the mo most oilies I don't know <laughs> so then I'm going to color correct with my LA girl pro concealer this is the color orange corrector and I am just putting that all over my dark marks um, anywhere where I have acne um, I don't really have acne but I do have um, the leftover marks so I'm just going to um, put that on those areas and then to blend it out I'm just going to use my finger and press it into my skin but trying not to take um, the product off but kind of pat it on the areas um, that I placed it so after pressing that and putting that in that areas I'm going to use my foundation and this is a sample I got when I worked at Macy's and it is tint idol ultra 24 hour um, long comb foundation and it is in the color 500 suede W so I'm using this thick foundation brush to um, build the product all over my skin So after I'm finished blending everything and making everything even and seamless, I'm going to highlight. So I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And I'm going to make a kind of thick layer of concealer up under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So that's what I'm going to use to highlight. And you don't have to use as much as I do. Um... This just works for me and it's what I like. So this is what I do. You can always switch it up. And I'm going to use my beauty blender or beauty sponge. And this is from Real Techniques. And I think it works amazing. So I like to use that um, when it's really damp is when I find that it works the best. So I'm just gonna blend those areas all over until I get an even layer of concealer. So after I feel like I have blended um, that layer very well, I'm actually going to take another concealer, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I think, and it is in the color Biscuit. Yeah, Radiant Creamy Concealer, yeah, it's in the color Biscuit, and it's just a little bit lighter than the Warm Honey, and I do like a very bright, not very bright, but like a bright, noticeably bright highlight up under my eyes so anything that I have left on the beauty blender I put in those same highlighted areas and then to make sure that everything is blended out seamless and there's not um, lines of concealer I just go back over everything with my foundation brush now to set my highlighted areas I'm going to take the airspun loose face powder and it's a translucent 
translucent extra coverage 07041 I think that's the color um, so that's what I'm going to place on the beauty blender and then I'm going to kind of set it on those areas I'm not really baking but I'm kind of pressing the powder into my skin and um, just making sure that it's blended and it's not going to you know be noticeably like cakey so um, I'm not really baking but for those who like to bake you can for a more dramatized look so to dust it away I'm going to use the MAC mineralized skin finish with this real techniques yeah real techniques powder brush so that's what I'm going to do to set my entire face and to add color back from that translucent powder. So I had to do my brows. I couldn't take it anymore. So I did my brows and a brow tilt tutorial should be coming soon. So to contour, I'm using the black radiance press powder and I'm taking a contour brush and just adding more color and contouring. And if I wanted a a pop in contour I would cream contour first and then set it but this is just what I'm doing kind of everyday um, slight contour and then for blush I'm going to be using the elf elf um, blush palette and I'm using the orange color just because I think it goes better with my skin now it is time to highlight so I'm taking gilded honey and I go crazy with this. Like I had to cut so much of it out because I was just highlighting for days. So my cheekbones, my brow bone, my nose, have to get that poppin' nose highlight. <laughs> and my cupid's bow area, as well as the bridge of my nose and down the nose. So love the highlight. That nose highlight is popping. Like, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so now I'm just going to set my face. I'm using the Urban Decay Setting Spray and All Nighter. So I'm spraying that across my face and I'm done. So now I'm just going to let that dry. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.